Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. This is going to be another tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to change the thumbnails to the Microsoft Flight Sim standard thumbnail instead of the Flight Sim X. So if we go back here and we've actually I've already changed these ones so every time I click on livery I will now get a standard picture that matches all of the rest of the Flight Sim stuff. So when I come to one that has come over from Flight Sim X, we get the Flight Sim X uh, thumbnails. Now in this particular one, I'm just going to show this as an example. You can do that with all of your aircraft. I would suggest if you are going to do this, do them as you get them. I haven't and I have over a, a hundred uh, aircraft now in my, actually 160 something aircraft. Probably 130 of those are add-ons So and each one has well, some of them up to 25 variants. So it's a lot of work if you want to do it that way and you want to keep them. But if you only have a few or you just started, this is a good way to do it. So we know this one's got three. So what we want to do is you want to find the folder that belongs to this one. So I'm going to go to my community folder and I can see that there are MB326, 326G, 326K and the unarmed, which I think I wrote unarmed because that's what the file was called. So if I click in unarmed and I go through to the main folder, I'll see that there are three folders. And I can actually match, if we move this out of the way, I can match that picture with this one. And the other two should actually match the orange one. Yes, it does. But just in case, because there were other orange ones, and there's a silver one with the blue tail. All right. So what we will do... Uh, actually, now that we know that that's the folder I want to work on, and whichever folder you're working on at the time, you need to enable dev mode. If you don't know how to enable dev mode, you will go to your options, and down at the bottom of the general op options page is the option developer mode, or developers. Click on that change it to on. On will bring up the uh, information at the top there. So now what we do is we can go back to the profile. We we'll actually will use the hanger as the best way to do this. Go dev mode, new project, OK. I want it to actually save in the default area. Now I've got inspector and So, plus, I want the project. Now, I'm actually going to call this one. I've seen there's multiple ways of doing this, but I'm going to put a model library. So, model lib, and I'm going to call it MB226UN for unarmed. Create, but what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to save it, because I can now do any aircraft, it doesn't matter which type, all the way through until I'm finished doing this, but just don't save it at the end. But you will be able to save your pictures. Now what we do, since this one is the one that is selected now, it's the first one, capture aircraft thumbnail. I'm going to let it go to default. Now mine goes to an internal disk Microsoft Flight Sim cache. I'll go select. It's taking a picture. Okay, the picture is taken. Now I'll come to my folder and you'll see some that I've already worked on and here it is here. So what I'm going to do with this one now, now there might be other ways to do this but uh, and you can actually finish off and create the thing but I find it easier just to right mouse click on this go edit. Now I've got this file here and what I want to do is we'll go back to our uh, where is it? Unarmed. There we go. Thank you. And we know that this is the no, it's not. So we check this. The orange one. Yep, so we've got the orange one. So what I'm going to do is Control c so copy my address for that. Come to here. Go File, Save As, JPEG. So this is just using Paint. And you can see I did the F15 last. So the reason I copy that address is paste it there. Go. There is the orange one. I'm going to click on that, and I'm actually going to override it. Yes. Now I can close this. And if I come back to here and I go liveries, there it is there. So if I want to do the next one, click on it. Don't need to close anything. 
choose thumbnail yes I want that place taking picture thank you so now I need to go back to that folder where the picture was right mouse click edit file save as JPEG it has to be a JPEG, a PNG doesn't work. Now this is the orange one, we don't want to cover the orange one, we want to go up one and we want to find the blue one which I think was down here, there it is there so the silver and blue. Save. Override, yes. Close. So I didn't have to put the address in, I just had to go up one level because it's already there. So what we do now is we click on the next one. Same again, thumbnail, yes I want it going there creates the thumbnail, thank you very much. Now it hasn't shown up here because I haven't backed out of it yet, so if I go back and then I go change, the first two will be correct. So what I do is I go back to my folder that has the pictures in it, click on the next one, edit, file, save as, JPEG. Now this is not the only way I'm sure Okay, that's the orange one, I want the A to Z. There we go, click on thumbnail, save, override, yes. Close that. Clicking here, go back. Liveries, one, two, and three. There we go, so now we have them all updated. So when I go back to change aircraft, the thumbnail here is done. And what I can do then is go to the next one. But I will have to find the new address. So for the sake of this one, I will put the first one in. So this is the two-seater, so this will be the G model, I believe. So I will go, yes, I want to save that, thank you, create a picture. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go back to our folder. So when you're changing between one folder and the next, we just need to make sure we're getting the right one. So file, save as, JPEG, can't go here, so we're actually going to have to come all the way back up to, well actually one above that. So now we've got a list of everything, you can see all the stuff I've been adding in. So now you need to find your folder, and now I can't remember where it was without looking it up, and that's why sometimes it's better to have them already cut and paste. So now I've got to look for MB. So what I'll do, I will actually go back to the other folder and that shows you why I did that in the first place. One, two, three, four, five levels up. There we go. I believe we're looking for the G. Subjects, planes, G model. Now do we have just two? Let's actually check that. Liveries. Yes, we do. So I've got the right folder. Very good. Now, if you don't have mon uh, multiple monitors like I do, you may have to just Alt-Tab out each time. So Argentine or... F no, it's not. So it's the other one. There you go. So now I know it's actually this one. That's the file we want. So I can just go Control-C, go back to my picture. And we were saving that in Go... There it is there. So that's how you swap between folders. All right. So now we know that the next one will be in here. You can either copy that straight away or you could just save the next one by going up and down. So Amada Argentina. Don't even need to, to press back here. I can just go straight to thumbnail, capture thumbnail, select folder. It takes a picture. Thank you very much. There's no rear pilot, no uh, rear on that one. Okay. Come back to the folder. There it is there. Again, one last time. Edit, File, Save As, JPEG. Pop in the address that is correct. Go. There's the matching thumbnail. Save, Override. Close. Back to here. Press back. Liveries, bam, bam, there you go. When you're done, you can actually exit this. So just go up to your, well, okay, that was actually moved over. Dev mode, 
exit. Do you want to save? No. It will save the pictures, but it won't save a project. So you're not calling all these things part of the same project. But that way you can actually get all the pictures in. And if you see mine, some of them are all over the place. Eventually they will all be lined up right. And that's how you add pictures. Sometimes you may find that they are the same picture for all four aircraft, such as the Tupolev. They're all the same picture. So it is all the same model. I don't know why there's four. So that's just the way it is. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe if you're interested in finding out more information about putting Flight Sim X aircraft into your uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 uh, simulator. I was going to call it a game, but a simulator. Uh, and comment down below if you're having any trouble or it didn't work or you know a better way of doing it. Uh, I find this the easiest, not necessarily the only way. Other than that, have a great day. Cheers.